Raid G for General Alliances. Thomas and the Birthday Mail. It was the stormy season on the island of Sodor. All of the engines were battling against the bad weather. Thomas was busy delivering supplies and mail in a far part of the island. He really enjoyed going up to High Farm. It was up on a hill, right at the end of the line. A little girl named Alice lived there. Alice and Thomas were good friends. One day, Thomas was on his way to High Farm when Rosie stopped right beside him. Rosie was a cheerful, chirpy little tank engine. She was always pleased to meet Thomas. She liked him so much that she wanted to be just like him. So she tried to copy him. She tried to wish the way he did. She even tried to whistle like Thomas. It made Thomas cross. Hello, Thomas, puffed Rosie brightly. What are you doing? It's Alice's birthday, chuffed Thomas. I want to get all of her presents up to High Farm in good time. Just then, Harold the helicopter arrived. Another storm warning, I'm afraid, he shouted. High winds on the way and heavy rain. Harold warned Thomas not to go up to High Farm. Heavy rain can cause landslides on that hilly route, he said. And Harold flew away. Thomas did not want to let Alice down. High winds don't bother me, he puffed. Or me, chuffed Rosie. I'll come as your back engine. But Thomas didn't want Rosie to come. Now thank you, Rosie, he puffed firmly. I can do it all on my own. And he chuffed quickly away. But Rosie liked Thomas very much, and she wanted to help. So she chuffed cheekily after him. Thomas puffed along the line to High Farm. The sky grew darker and darker. And soon it was pouring with rain. Thomas's pistons pumped and his boiler bubbled. It was hard work. Rosie can't follow me now, he fought. She isn't strong enough. But Thomas was wrong. Rosie's pistons were pumping and her boiler was bubbling right behind him. She whistled cheerfully to Thomas. Thomas was very annoyed. Father, he puffed. Soon, Thomas came to a junction. One way was a long but easy way to High Farm. The other way was the shorter but much harder way. Thomas knew the longer way was safer. But I'll take the shorter way, he wished. Then Rosie won't follow me. She's not strong enough. As the storm raged, Thomas puffed up the steep slope. He was almost at High Farm. He was sure Rosie wasn't behind him now. I won't be seeing any more of her today, tooted Thomas happily. Then there was trouble. Earth and stones tumbled down the bank and blocked Thomas's track. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. But he still wanted to deliver Alice's presents. I'll just have to bash my way through, fought Thomas. And he pushed forward into the landslide. Thomas was up to his buffers in mud and stone. He tried to push on, but he couldn't. He tried to back out, but he couldn't. 
Thomas was stuck. Thomas felt very silly and very sad. I should have listened to Harold, he wished unhappily. Now Alice won't get her presents on time. I've let her down, he thought sadly. Then he heard the toot of another engine. It was Rosie puffing proudly up the hill behind him. It's me, tooted Rosie cheerfully. Then she saw Thomas was stuck. Thomas felt very silly. I'll go and get help, chuffed Rosie. Wait a minute, whistled Thomas. Please, will you deliver Alice's presents for me? Rosie was very happy. Of course I will, she puffed. Rosie was soon coupled up to Thomas's trucks. Then she steamed off to High Farm. Thomas waited for Rosie to come back. He was happy that she had followed him after all. Soon Rosie came puffing back down the line. Alice's mother has telephoned for help, Rosie told Thomas. Edward is on his way to pull you out. Then Thomas noticed that Rosie had a passenger on board. It was Alice. She had come to thank Thomas for getting her birthday presents to her. I couldn't have done it without Rosie's help, Thomas puffed. Now we can all celebrate your birthday together. Thomas tooted happily. And so did Rosie. <laughs>